All right, so a couple of things I want to cover in here too. It's like when we talk about, you know, DNA and unlocking DNA and ancestral, uh, you know, DNA and whatnot. You see, here's the thing. A lot of what has happened throughout this linear timeline that we live on, okay? Yesterday doesn't exist. The only thing that matters is what happens now. You know what I'm saying? But with your consciousness, you're able to know what energies you're feeling because these these things that you see outside of you, such as ancestors and, you know what I'm saying? All these energies are just, it's basically everything that you're not perceiving here is basically all formless that's still you. And it's, it's God or demons or whatever you want to perceive it to be trying to experience through you. But based on your frequency and vibration, okay, this is where you open doors to shit that's either unfavorable or favorable to you. If, if, if you're in a high vibration and a high frequency because you're conscious and aware that this is the favorable state of being to be in because you're opening doors for favorable energies to come through, then this is where you're actually able to now perceive your reality a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Because... Whatever ancestors were here, there's a there's a different ways to look at this. These ancestors, they had experience, so they can guide you in certain areas. But then you, you don't know what type of decisions and choices they made that put them in hell. And then, if anything, you can, and this is where when you do the work, okay, because everything is still you. These ancestors is you. You know what I'm saying? That your higher self is you. Everything is you. Okay? So these things that are trying to live through you based on the condition and state of being that your ancestor died in, okay? would either have it more rooted to this reality where it can't move on and the way that you can help it move on is actually transmuting the energy, okay, from let's say a lower natured desire or a lower natured uh, emotion or whatnot, you actually feel it, allow yourself to feel it, you know what I'm saying, but you allow yourself to feel it so you could process it and now you transmute it, bringing it up to a heart space and you, you now transmute it to an unconditional love space where you help whatever energy is in hell to move on to uh, 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 not be anchored to this reality. You see, even people, like people, if we are too materialistic and we're too anchored to physicalities or even holding grudges, holding certain emotions, then we get more anchored here. We add weight to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So these energies that are trying to experience reality through you, it is up to, you're like a vessel that you're, you're allowing certain things in based on your state of being, based on your mental state. You know what I'm saying? So that's why certain distractions are going to be presented to you and all that is just to get your, you see, you're the money. Okay. That's why you should, that's why the saying goes, you, you know, I got my, my mind on my money and my money on my mind. You see, you're the money and you got to look at yourself as that because at the end of the day, money is an idea. You know what I'm saying? Money represents abundance, but it is not the actual abundance. Just like I spoke about in my previous video, computers are nothing but a representation of artificial intelligence. And you're an organic computer and you're the artificial intelligence. If man was created in the image of God, then computers were created in the image of man. Which is why I say that computers are nothing but an idea created by man, but it's a, a, a representation of artificial intelligence. So what do you represent? You represent artificial intelligence. But instead of using computers, computers are using using you. you. You have to become the master because the computers are the server. It's just like money. Money is the server and you're working for it instead. So everything you're doing, you're doing it inverted. You're doing it backwards. You know what I'm saying? The body now becomes the slave. I mean, the, the, the master instead of you becoming the master and the body becomes the server. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to just be conscious and aware of what state of being and where you're at and how you're using these things. Are these things using you or are you using it? Now we have this once you become conscious, you could change all this by changing your perception of, of where you're at. Like you're not the server. So instead of having money, uh, you working for money, you can have money work for you. You can have these computers work for you. But now here's the thing though. At back in the day, we didn't have computers. You know what I'm saying? So we were able to do a lot more with this computer. You know what I'm saying? But then we started creating computers. It's just like once upon a time, we had gold, silver, and we used these elements and we used to exchange and trade and all that. Now we, we, you know, money was printed out. But how do we know these things weren't printed out? Because we have abilities that these people in power don't have, but they only have power because we gave them that, that power. But then again, here's the thing though. If you have the, the idea of these people have power, it's no different than once upon a time, you know what I'm saying? How we evolved to this state of being and this point of, of time that we're in now is no different than, let's say, at, at one time, dinosaurs ruled the earth. You know what I'm saying? And if dinosaurs ruled the earth at one time, okay, and nobody can really overpower these dinosaurs, nature took its course, wiped them out, and then we evolved to be the top of the food chain. You know what I'm saying? So right now, the way we're going at is 
nature will run its course and wipe us out if we're not on point with what the fuck we're supposed to do. But then here's the thing, though. Who are the current dinosaurs right now? It would be the people in power. Why do you think people call them reptilians and whatnot? You know what I'm saying? Because these reptilians, if we're in our reptilian nature, then we're in competition. We're in fight or flight. We're in uh, territorial uh, energies. And what happens when you have, when you're in that space, then you're not in a creative space and you're not in an empowered God mode state. Because what separates us from these animals is that we have the ability to redefine the meaning of everything outside of us. And we also have the ability to transmute any energies that we are experiencing at the moment. But if they, you see, money was printed in order for you to go chase something and think that you need that when in actuality, the real currency is attention, okay? Because energy flows where attention goes. So now that money was printed is because they needed you. It's like using your power against you because they need you to go and keep you busy chasing something that you think is abundance when that's not really the abundance, you know what I'm saying? The abundance is basically coming from you knowing that you, this is your abundance, your creativity, your imagination, and your ability to wield things into existence by using electromagnetism. You get what I'm saying? But instead, what you're doing is you tear your energy down by going to work long hours, by entertaining yourself on social media, certain dramas, certain stupid shit that's happening on the world, which really... A lot of the attention is is very easily steered in that way by having videos be put up and then taken down. You know what I'm saying? That's how they fuck you mentally. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of different ways where all these energies, okay, are energies that are experiencing life through you, but because of the channel and frequency that you're on. You know what I'm saying? So those energies got birthed into this planet and it is up to us to not consent and realize that that is not us. We can live whatever life we want, okay? Because if you're the money, okay, then that's why they have you working for them. Because you pay taxes, you use their equipment, and that's basically the same way that we are, are, are instead of having money work for us, we are working for the money, okay? And we're also dependent on the government. And the government, in turn, is dependent on us the same way that even if money was working for us, we're dependent on that money working for us. Because if that money wasn't working for us, then we would have no, no nothing here in this reality. There's nothing wrong with trying to acquire, let's say, a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's a consciousness. If your consciousness is on poverty, then you will never acquire a million dollars because that million, the, the money, the, the representation is a consciousness. And it all starts from you knowing that you have to consciously be aware of the fact that you are in the wrong state of being and in the wrong mentality for you to even attract that into your life. So if you're trying to make this world a better place, it is not by exposing more of the bullshit outside of you. It is literally ignoring the bullshit outside of you. And that's basically a consciousness that you are now letting go of. The same way, if I want to acquire a million dollars and I want to acquire abundance and riches into my life, how could I acquire that if my mind is always on fucking poverty and trying to expose poverty and show people that there, you know, more poverty on TV? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's all on you. The shit outside doesn't matter. The fucking computers are being misused by putting fucking stupid shit on social media, by exposing each other with dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's fucking, it's, it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? You have so much fucking power. And we can actually change this shit by just changing ourselves. And when you start doing that, you'll notice that everything outside of you starts to change. Okay? Because when you change yourself, you get ancestors out of hell the same way. When you change yourself, then you'll start to see that people that watch you and the computers and all that, they'll start to be attracted to you and they'll start to change. Because it's a different type of light that you're shedding on certain things. Instead of shedding a light on bullshit that is really an illusion outside of you, then and we create it more and more with our attention, then you'll notice that we are starting to shed a light more on the possibilities of us being able to break out of this bullshit. Because people say, I see truth. I want to know what truth you see. Because when you say, I see truth, the only truth you're seeing is the truth that you consent to actually being factual in your life. Okay? What do you see as a fact in your reality to have you say that that is truth? Because somebody could be having a psychedelic trip. I don't see what they're seeing, but they to them, that is truth. But if let's say you and I are seeing something in physicality, to both of us, that's going to be a fact. But if I see something in physicality and you do and I don't, then it ain't a fact to me. You know what I'm saying? But then again, being closed minded also closes you up to the possibilities of certain things being answered to you because at the end of the day, I could just go to sleep at night, ask myself certain questions and try to figure something out and 
Me having computers work for me is basic because here's the thing. We see we depend to when we want to have a we have a question in mind and we want to try to get an answer a, 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 a question answered. The first thing we do, I got to go to Google. I got to go to the doctor if I got sick. But instead, what do you do? You see, you're always attracting shit by you just sitting there questioning whatever it is that you have questioned. You'll notice that the computers work for you, but you don't even have to type. It'll just pop up in your newsfeed and whatnot. But the reason that shit pops up in your newsfeed and certain ads pop up, it's because you are fucking creating it. The computers are merged with you the same way you're merged with your body. You know what I'm saying? But you're not the body, but you're not the computer. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to have, you'll see that, oh, I'm being mind control because I got ads popping up. But yeah, because you created it with your mind. But the, the computer ain't doing nothing wrong. It's just doing what it's serving you. You know what I'm saying? It's serving you. And the same way, when you start to perceive your reality a certain way, it's just serving you. Because you're perceiving it in that way. If you change the fucking frequency and channel you're on, then everything outside of you will start to change. But we'll talk soon.